Yo, what's going on people and welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's doing good. So for this video, I thought I'd change it up a little bit and share with you my top five tips of how to mix samples better as I've not really been feeling the best. So I thought this would be a good video to show you. If you haven't downloaded my free sample pack already, then grab that on the website and follow my Instagram that's going to be on the screen. Let's get straight into this. So tip one is over processing what i mean by that is like adding reverb that doesn't actually need to be on a sound if it's already got it on there then you don't really need to do shit like that so depending on how you want to make the sound spatial in the beat don't just add reverb for the sake of it it's just over processing you're just doing too much work that you don't need to actually do and then i see a lot of people just throwing on all these effects and not actually knowing what they actually do there's no point just throwing effects on for the sake of it you could just want to keep them sounds nice and clean it just makes the best easiest mix possible I see a lot of people trying to eq sounds that don't need eq in or just getting rid of the whole core of the sound itself there's no point doing that you might as well just layer it with another thing or just literally leave it as it is So tip number two is the order of the effects that people are using. So I see a lot of people just putting on a reverb and then just an EQ after and just EQing out all that reverb. It's just not really working. So if you see here, there's like on this reverb, you can low cut, high cut. That tends to work a lot better and you don't really need to go into an EQ. EQ out the sound first and then you can get rid of the frequencies that you don't really want in the sample. If you're trying to EQ out the effect that you already put on, that's because you just put on too much. It just lower the like, decay or mix and it just sounds so much better. So I see a lot of people putting on like delay after like modulation effects. Just think of how that's making the sound appear. Like if you're having a wide reverb and just putting on heavy delay, that's just making that reverb change and making more muddiness into it. So for the third tip, that's sound layering, how you pick each individual sound so it makes it easier and cleaner mix. This is probably my most vital tip to give anyone. And how I do this is, so I've got these chords here. So quite high octave, not a lot of low end. And then you've got like another electric piano. All you got to do is stuff like that, raise it up an octave and it just gives it more character and you can just, it saves the less EQ in. Sounds like this. Just think about it, how each sound has different frequency ranges. So if you want like a frequency range to be fuller at the low end, just bring the octave down a little bit and you can just EQ out a tiny little bit and just gives it a nice character. So I'll show you with an EQ. So I'm playing the piano, it's got a little bit of low end. And then I'll play the electric piano. It's got more like high resolute sounds. So all together. So that's out of any processing whatsoever. So then you can go in and just like EQ out little bits that just over complicate in the sound. Tip four would be experimenting with different effects and use them differently. Like you could use a send track for like a, a, a flanger. I like to use like a send track for a portal, which can give like glitching effects and like delay effects and then just bring it down in the mix. Can EQ out that just in a send tracks because it's completely different. You can just manipulate that better and you have more control. So these stuff like putting a send track for a reverb if you're just trying to get a little tiny little bit of reverb just to make it a little bit more brighter, spatial, you can just add it like that. You don't need to always add it on the rack. And don't be afraid to use like cheap plugins that you find online. There's some like hidden gem ones that are just pretty good. So I have this spaced out plugin that I use, has like a reverb and delay. It was really cheap and just you can just use that for send tracks and just make cool like effect. So tip five would be panning and stereo separation. These are quite vital and play a lot of uh, vital parts of how to make the sounds stand out and just not clash in the way of each other. So if you have two sounds that have the similar chords, pan one a little bit to the left, pan one to the right, just makes it a little bit more clean and just gives it a nice feel. 
if you're just throwing on a heavy reverb and then just making it stereo, that's not going to work. You could just completely ruin the sound. You can do that if you want like a heavy pad and just like EQ out the lows and highs. So what I like to do, if I want to make like a pad sound out of the keys, I just throw on that reverb. Then I just use an S1 imager and I just bring it up all the way and just make it really heavy in this wideness. Just give it that atmospheric vibe and you can just bring it down in the volume. Don't have it a lot of major volume because it's just going to make it too muddy just want to have it a little bit just to give it that texture then i like to have instruments like mono just bring them down mono like here merge the sound and that just gives the reverb a different kind of like feel and just doesn't make the sounds clash as much and then just have others stereo just to make them a bit more wide in width just to, so you can get everything just fit right into the picture perfect so yeah that is all the tips that i've got really if you want a more in-depth tutorial where i actually show you like how i mix going one by one step then please do comment down below this was just a little bit of a different video as i've not been well so yeah if you like that you know what to do Get my sample pack that's going to be down below. Follow my Instagram that's going to be on the page. And subscribe down below. And I'll see you in the next one guys. Peace.